Welcome back everyone to Learning Petition. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.76, okay? It says, a particle travels along the curve from A to B in 5 seconds. It takes 8 seconds for it to go from B to C and then 10 seconds to go from C to A. Determine its average speed when it goes around the closed path. Okay, so over here we got our particle it's traveling from A to B, then it travels B to C, and then it travels back C to A. Okay, now what we need to do is determine the average speed uh, when it goes around this closed path. So what we need to know in, is that our average speed is equal to our change in displacement divided by our change in time okay so what we know is that we have the change in time for each of these intervals so that makes it easy but what we don't know is this change in position so far okay so let's just start by knowing that the change in position the total of this particle is going to be equal to the change in position from A to B plus the change in position from B to C and the change in position from C to A, okay? So let's just start by finding out the change in position from A to B. So from A to B, what we can see is that this is an arc and more than an arc, I like to think of like a quarter of a circle, right? So since we know the circumference of a circle and even if we don't know you just go on google and, fi and and find it out like you type circumference of a circle and if you know do that you will realize that it's equal to 2 pi r right but we don't have an entire circle in here we only have a quarter of it therefore we need a quarter of this circumference so we got a quarter of our circumference that if we simplify it will be equal to pi r divided by 2 okay now we know what's the r value well the r value is this 20 meters okay so let's plug that in we're gonna get 20 meter times pi divided by 2 therefore this will be equal to 10 pi meters okay next the change in position from b to c okay so this is b and we're going all the way to c and for this change in position, what we can use is that, okay, we can relate B to C with this triangle. And if we know this triangle, we know that from B to C, our BC segment is our hypotenuse, right? And we know how to do the hypotenuse of a triangle. So we know that the hypotenuse is the square root. So we're going to have a square root and we're going to square both sides, which is 30 meters. So we're going to square it plus the other side, which will be 20 meters. Okay. And if you don't know why it's this side is equal to 20 meters, it's because this is the same radius as our circle, which was equal to 20 meters. Okay. And the other side of this triangle is this 10 meters. Okay. Just to make sure we're all in the same page. And if we do this square root, so we've got square root of 20 square plus 30 square, this will be equal to 36.06 .06 meters, okay? Next is the change in position from C to A. Now, the change in position from C to A is just this straight line, okay? And we got our first from here to this point is 30 meters, and we know that from here to here should be equal to our radius of the circle, which is 20. Therefore, our position, change in position, will be 30 plus 20, and it should always be equal to 50 meters, okay? So our total change in position, so this is our total, has to be equal to 10 pi plus 36.06 .06 plus 50. And if we add all these guys up, so let's put that into our calculator, we will get a total of 117.5 meters, okay? Now, now we can calculate our average speed, and as we said before, it's going to be our change in position divided by our change in time. 
And the good thing is that in the problem statement, they give us the change in time, which is 5 plus 8 plus 10, okay? So, even before we do that, let's just state clear that the change in time total is the addition from the change in time from AB plus the change in time from B to C plus the change in time from C to A, okay? Which in the problem statement they give us to us is equal to 5 plus 8 plus 10, okay? And if we add these guys up, what should we get? We should get 23 seconds, okay? So now we can find our average speed. It's going to be the total speed. Uh, the change in position, the total change in position, which is 117.5 meters, divided by our total change in time, which is 23 seconds. And if we plug this into our calculator, 117.5 divided by 23, it's equal to 5.11 meters, if we round up to two decimal places, okay? If you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.